Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Good morning. <laughs> uh, it is our checkout day. I know. I'm oh. so sad. We're checking out today. But. But what? I was going to say, but we I got up a little bit earlier, so hopefully we can head down to fuel and get some breakfast before the crowd. Yeah. Is that that's finger? my finger. What is that? <laughs> Let's see what happens. We're going to try to get some breakfast from fuel. If not, we know Peekaboo wasn't too bad of a launch. Yeah, I just wanted to go to Fuel because they have, they're like an actual coffee shop. And I wanted to get some coffee. Those are my glasses, buddy. All right, let's do it. All right, let's see what the line's like. I don't know if it looks that bad. Does it? Yeah, it's not like yesterday it like wrapped all the way over here and everything. All right, so here's what we got from Fuel. I got the standard, which is the same thing that Jen got yesterday. I can't open it up to show you because it's pretty melted closed. Pepper Jack. <laughs> <laughs> bacon and egg Jackson got some overnight oats so it's just like oatmeal blueberries honey yogurt and flax seeds yeah so and we also got him a fruit salad yummy yummy <laughs> I just wasn't sure if he was gonna like this oatmeal and the fruit's good to just have he'll, yeah, he'll, eat, he'll fruit. Just eat the fruit we love it and Ooh, then yeah. that's your fruit a cheese danish it's funny, she's like, you don't want any danishes? After we ordered all this food and we're like, ah, oh, okay, I guess we'll have a danish. Yeah, let's but we get probably, a cheese danish. We probably didn't need it. Do you want to have some more of your oatmeal? And oh, then and then I got the eggs press. I like eggs the pun. Eggs press. But it's just a pressed egg sandwich. It's just it's egg and cheese. Eggy cheesy sandwich. This is just like what you get at home. <laughs> at home? Yeah, what did you make? I McDonald's. Oh, you mean that's what I make at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, future Tim and Jen here. We just wanted to cut in really quick because we got a few questions about our stay at the Swan and Dolphin and we just wanted to answer them before we head off to the next thing. So the first question that I got was, did you find that this was a family focused resort or do you think that the other resorts like the more traditional Disney resorts were more family focused? And I think for the most part, it was exactly like a traditional Disney Resort. Mm -hmm. The only issue that we had was when we called down to the front desk and we asked for a high chair and they said we don't have high chairs. Yeah, so in normal, any other Disney Resort, you would just call and say, hey, I need a high chair brought to the room and they will bring you a high chair. And I don't, we didn't ask about the um, pack and play or like the crib situation because right. we just started bringing our own pack and play. Uh, but that's another thing that traditional Disney Resorts will generally have pack and plays that you can use. Um, some of them even do have like roll away cribs. Right. Uh, but yeah, that was the only the only thing that we ran into a, a, like a problem with was just not being able to get the high chair. Right. So we were able to borrow a high chair from Shula's because we ordered food from there and then we just brought it up to our room. I don't know if that's something that they normally do. Right. Um, but it, it wouldn't hurt to ask if you're staying at the hotel and you need a high chair. But if you call down to the front desk, yeah, they won't. They don't have one. Right. So... But I don't think that means that it's not like a family focused resort because they did have all of the other. Yeah, they like, had like a, a family pool. They had a playground. They had like a little beach area for the kids to play in. They yeah. also had during normal times, they have a character breakfast in the morning with the Disney characters. But they're just not doing that right now because of COVID-19. And when they are doing that again, I don't know when that's going to happen. But when they start that back up, um, a lot of people say that's a super underrated uh, character breakfast. Yeah. So we haven't actually checked it out yet. That's something that we should for sure do. Oh, yeah. Another thing that a lot of people mentioned in the comments when we showed off that Garden Grove menu, the Taylor Ham egg sandwich, it was like a breakfast sandwich. A lot of people were like, oh my gosh, they have Taylor Ham. You have to get it. You have to get it. That's a northerner thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't get it. So the next time we go, we'll have to try it for sure. Yeah. I didn't realize that was like such a big deal. It's a thing. So, okay. Well, <laughs> Next time we're gonna try it. So one thing that I learned on this stay that I hadn't ever even thought about, so we're annual pass holders and with our annual pass comes free parking. So I've never even thought like, do you get free parking with a resort stay? And I did a little bit of research and every Disney hotel, including Swan and Dolphin, you get free standard parking at the theme parks and at the water parks. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And I, I had no idea that that was a thing, but I do now. So that's something that's actually really helpful, especially right now, because they're not letting you purchase annual passes at the moment. Right. So if you're not already like grandfathered in with an annual pass, like we can renew ours because right. we already had one before COVID. But if you wanted to buy one right now, you couldn't. Right. 
And that means that you would have to buy like a day ticket, which means you would have to pay for parking at the resort, like at Disney World, Magic Kingdom, at any of the parks. Right. So if you're staying at the resort, you don't have to do that. Right. Or you could take a bus, which Swan and Dolphin offers, just like any other Disney resort, frequent bus trips between the parks and the hotel. So that was something that some people were mentioning is that they said, um, oh, I love to stay at sister resorts or at like the partner hotels. But the only thing is, is that the transportation is so spotty that if you don't bring your own car, sometimes it can become a little bit of a hassle. And they were like, we love to stay at the Swan and Dolphin because it's like a partner resort, but you get the frequent yeah. transportation. So that's, and you can walk to Hollywood Studios. You can walk to Epcot too. And another thing that was really surprising to me is that when we were reading through the comments, cause we've already put up like for the most part, this whole Swan and Dolphin staycation, a lot of you all were like huge fans of these resorts. Yeah. You, you love the Swan and Dolphin. And a lot of people, which I thought this was really um, interesting. A lot of you guys got married there. Oh. Yeah, there were like quite a few comments that were like, I got married here, I got married here, I got married here. So I was like, oh, I wonder like where? Do they have a... There's like a convention center and ballrooms and stuff ah, like that. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, that was it was just really... One thing about these like staycations that we do is reading your comments is always so interesting to me after the fact because you always have, you guys always give us really great tips. Yeah. So it's it's cool to see um, like your experience. Another perk at Swan and Dolphin that I learned about and that I still haven't, I was doing a little bit of research before we filmed this to try to figure out if it's all Disney resorts and I couldn't find anything on it, but Swan and Dolphin gives you preferred tee times on Disney's championship golf courses hmm. because you're staying there. Okay. So I don't know, like this says Walt Disney World Resort benefits and I don't know if that's all Disney resorts. Hmm. I, I couldn't find anything on Disney web, Disney's website about it. Well, so there you go. If you're if you're coming to golf specifically, maybe check out the Swan and Dolphin because that you get your preferred tea times. Yeah. There you go. The, uh, the you mentioned that it is a, a partner hotel. It's yeah. not a Disney hotel, even though it's Walt Disney Swan and Dolphin. It still is. It's a Marriott hotel. Right. Yes. So. Uh, one thing it says that loyalty program guests receive enhanced speed in-room wireless internet. Okay. So like if you're a Bonvoy member. Which we are. Yeah. But we didn't use any of these perks. Right. I wish we had thought about that. <laughs> uh, loyalty program silver status and above receive enhanced high speed in-room internet plus 125 loyalty points per night. Oh, and so you can use those loyalty points to a free stay. Right. So get, getting like... Three points. I know. All right. Well, then I another, wish we had looked at this. Another thing, apparently they have daily fitness classes at the Swan and Dolphin. I, I don't know if this is something that's happening currently with COVID. Right. So in regular times, it's for sure something that's happening. But if you're going to stay at the Swan and Dolphin, if you're planning on doing some of these fitness classes, maybe just double check that that's something that they're doing currently. Right. Because it says it has a live instructor. Yeah. Which that's pretty cool. Right. Wow. It's like a Peloton, but in real life. So <laughs> <laughs> so when you were looking at the gym and you were like, I don't know what this room is over here, that's where they would do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's fun. Yeah. I think that would be really neat to like go to a yoga class or like a, you know? Yeah. I, I probably would never do it. It would be fun to try though. Yeah. I feel like- It's well, fun to think about. Well, when I'm on vacation, I'm not like, let's work out. I know. But, but some people do. Yeah. So there and you I, go. And I thought it's another thing that's interesting. I mentioned Peloton. There was a Peloton in the gym. Yeah. And that's something that I'm seeing at more and more resorts is that they have a Peloton for people to like log into their Peloton account and continue on their Peloton. So if you don't, if you're not a, like a Peloton member, can, do they not have like a- I don't think there was like a free- Oh, so you couldn't do like the... You could sit on the bike and ride it. <laughs> Another thing here, it says $30 off spa services of $175 or more during each night of your visit. Wow. So you get $30, $30 off each day. So like you could go to the gym or go to the spa each day as long as you spend $175 each day. <laughs> I was going to say. You get $30 off. So there are quite a few perks to staying at the Swan and Dolphin. Um, we didn't utilize any of these perks, right. unfortunately. But the next time that we stay, because we didn't, we've never stayed on the Swan side. Right. So maybe the next time we'll check out the Swan side and see. And then I also would be curious if these perks would also follow you over to the um, the, the reserve, the Swan Reserve. Oh yeah, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Okay. 
because uh, we talked to some people that were staying at on the Swan side, mm -hmm. and they said that it is much more relaxed on that side. It's a smaller resort, yeah. and, and they said, yeah, it was really quiet. So I like that. But our stay was really quiet too, and we didn't actually mention this, but there was like a cheer competition going on. Um, when, still going on. Oh, is it still happening? Yeah. Okay. I didn't hear it. It wasn't noisy or anything. Like it right. wasn't, it wasn't like a, um, sometimes when they do the chair competitions at like art of animation and pop, it can be sort of like overrun with the cheer groups. Well, and they also like practice their cheers out on the lawns. Yeah. And so. we didn't like, I didn't notice anything like that. Right. Yeah. It was still, it was a very quiet stay. So, so. yeah, there you go. Hopefully that answered a few of your questions and now. Or off to brunch. All right, sad times all around. We are checking out of the room. Mm -hmm. Dang, but we are going to brunch at Disney Springs. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna meet some friends at the boathouse for brunch. We haven't done this yet. Yeah, it's a brand new brunch menu and experience. Mm -hmm. I think they have dueling pianos. It was something that has been going on for a little bit, I think maybe like a month now, maybe, possibly yeah. somewhere around there. We wanted to wait for the crowds to die down just a little bit, but everything that we've heard has been really good. Yeah. Everybody says the food is great, the atmosphere is great, the entertainment is great. Boathouse has always been one of our top restaurants, so I don't know. I'm very excited. Me Sec too. Second breakfast. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> Something I wanted to say before we leave. Um, I'm going to miss this really comfortable couch. Yeah, it's nice, right? I love it. It was kind of like a, not velvet, but like a velour. I don't know, super comfortable. And the beds, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know about you, but I had the best night's sleep last night. Yeah, I did pretty good. It was amazing. And I wanted to mention they have down pillows and like regular, uh, like fluff pillows. Mm-hmm. Awesome, love that. And they also had like, uh, not comforters, but like very thick blankets. Oh yeah. So it really did feel like we were sleeping at home. I don't know, I love that, it was great. Another thing I wanted to mention too before we leave is we didn't get a chance to do a pool day. Right. So there were some comments that are like, oh, I hope you get to check out the pool, it's so awesome. So we did look at the pool and we couldn't show you guys because there were just so many people at the pool. We didn't want to show like, people at the pool. Right. Um, but it is a really nice pool. It has like this grotto area. There's like this huge waterfall. There's a slide. So it was definitely like a hot spot. People were definitely enjoying the pool. Yeah, for sure. So next time we stay, we will have a pool day 100%. All right, we're here at Disney Springs. It is a Sunday. So I have a feeling today is gonna be a busy day, but we're here just before the crowd, it looks like. It seems like the wait for Gideon's is starting to slow down because they're not doing a virtual queue anymore. Now it's just the line. So maybe only like a 20, 30 minute wait at this point. All right, here we are. We're at the boathouse. Dream boats. That's what I like to call Jen. Here's the piano players. They have these little tiny grand pianos and they're gonna duel. Ooh, and they take requests. That's fun. They brought out some rolls, and for brunch, they put this special cinnamon icing on the top. See, they're just the normal honey rolls with a little bit of extra sweetness on them. All right, we got Jackson. The kids, they called this one egg breakfast. Oh, was it a one egg? It was called a one egg Goody. breakfast, and I'm like, I don't think so. This could be enough for two kids. All right. Got some, some scrambled eggs, some potatoes, and some bacon. All right, so here's what I got. I got the chicken and biscuits with some eggs over top, and this is like a Creole gravy, like a white gravy. I know it's very confusing when we say gravy. Basically like a roux, flour, milk, and then some sausage in there. Maybe a chicken sausage in this one. I got a side of bacon. And then Jen got... Oh, I got the crab cakes, eggs, benedict. Can I take these small plates Crab out cakes, eggs, benedict. Uh, yeah, thank you. It looks, looks really perfect. good. Perfect, yeah. yeah. And then our friends got a burger. That was really nice. It looks so, so good. I know. And then the steak and eggs. Oh. What was the cut of the steak? Strip loin? Strip steak. Strip uh, steak. Okay. So this is the steak and eggs. It was a strip steak. And this is the cheesy grits. Cheesy grits look really good. Okay, so pardon my like half-eaten crab cake here, but I wanted to mention, so my eggs benedict wasn't actually on like an English muffin. It was just on top of the crab cake with this ham here. 
and then the poached egg, which the poached egg was cooked perfectly. And the crab cake is like zero filler, all crab. So this was fantastic. I love this. I would for sure get this again. Big fan of crab cake. If you like crab cakes, you'll like this. How's yours? Really good. It's a Cajun gravy. So it's a little bit like teeny tiny bit spicy. But it wasn't, it wasn't like overpowering. Yeah. It was really nice. Oh no, you have a bird friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Jackson, Jackson didn't even see the bird. Jackson's been loving his bacon. You Buddy. Didn't see the bird. Jackson, look at mommy. He's like waiting for another helicopter to come. <laughs> there have been so many helicopters. He loves it. We got very excited and used all the towels, but they brought out a tray full of hot napkins very very hot napkins and some lemons to put on the napkins so that you could clean your hands afterwards i felt like we were like on a cruise or like on a, on a nice plane yacht or, yeah on a yacht yeah <laughs> i did feel like i've never right? been on a yacht before but isn't this isn't i imagine what, this is what it feels like isn't that what the name of this brunch is is it the yacht club brunch or the yacht what is it i don't know i thought it had something to do with yachts i also thought that the music inside was going to be like yacht rock it could yeah i mean maybe it is, is it? i only saw one song Oh, okay. But they were taking requests too, oh, so we they? could ask them to play, oh. I don't know, something about yachts. I like how people that are sitting in this area have their captain's hat on. Well, they're blasting the piano music out here, but we couldn't hear it out where we were sitting. We thought we'd be able to hear it out there. But out front, we can hear it. So as with everything Boathouse, that was delicious. Oh, wow, yeah. Like I said, the only issue that I had was that I wish that they pumped the piano music out to where we were sitting on the patio. Yeah. Because it would have just it made the experience even better. The music was really good. I do wish I had brought my little captain's hat like everybody was wearing inside. I know. Ah, we have so them too. We went on, we, we rode some of the um, the little sprite boats, the mouse boats. Yeah. I'll link that video down below, but we bought the hat specifically for that. I want to stop and do Amaretz to see if they have anything for Falcon and Winter Soldier. I don't think they do. They've got just this regular old Amaretz petite cake. Normal Mickey Mouse cake, pistachio eclair, chocolate eclair, creme brulee, cheesecake. Ooh, and a key lime tart. I'm not seeing anything special right now. I will tell you, these chocolate chip cookies are some of the best that I've ever had. All right, making a quick stop by the Shore store. They do give discounts for annual pass holders and DVC members, cast members and military. It's just kind of like beachy stuff inside of this store. You know, like bathing suits and the such and dresses. I really like this camouflage shirt that just says indoorsy, even though it's camouflage. <laughs> on the way home, we decided to stop by the park, let Jackson slide on some slides, maybe swing on some swings. Also, we're right near the airport, so hopefully he'll get to see a gigantic plane coming in. We'll see, fingers crossed. Yeah. Ooh, mommy's putting you way up at the top. I didn't think she was gonna put you way up there. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Here we go. Whoa, you did it. <laughs> Whoop, <laughs> off the end. Mommy made the slide all staticky. No hands. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that hair, buddy. Static hair. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna try the swings again. Last time, he was like a little bit too small for him, I think. What do you think, bud? Can you hear the planes, buddy? We're gonna go over to where the planes are like even closer. See if you can see him a little bit better. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Is that so fun? Do you like it or no? Do you want to be in the other swing? That's the same thing. It's just another one, but it's the exact same thing that you're in. Another one. Here we go, buddy. There's another plane over there. All right, let's try see. Try to ground out the slides so you don't get too. Wow. That's a good one. So the thought is, all of the airplanes are taking off in that direction. So, I don't know, I don't know very much about airplanes, but I was thinking there should be some landing this way. And if we can catch one landing, it'll be really close and really easy to see. So we're just trying to get past this building here so we can see towards the airport. Oh yeah, it looks like I can see one just over those buildings over there coming in for a landing. Oh. This is exciting. Let's see, let's see how close we can see, bud. Right? Oh yeah, look at this, buddy. Jackson, can you see look. it? Look, wait, it's gonna come through the trees. Buddy, look right here. Look in my mind like you know in old movies when they would go like near the airports and they would like sit on the hood of their car and like look up at the planes and the planes would be so close they would literally be like under the runway type yeah. of thing that's what i was like 
in my mind that's what that's what i would like for him to be able to see right but i don't think there's anything like that anymore i don't think so you can get that close here's my question is there a like pass to the airport where we could just take him to the airport to watch planes taking off i would imagine it's probably like a security thing that you can't do that right but couldn't i just like find a 40 dollar fare somewhere i mean and just be like <gasps> Like a whole afternoon, just like missed my airplane. Right. I know that I sh I'm not going to do that because somebody no. probably needs that, that like seat on the plane. Right. But like, technically, could you do that? I just, I wonder if there's a closer spot. Like if we... Probably, I don't know. Cause they like take off over the highway over there. Hmm. I, hmm. I feel like there's like a neighborhood back here. Yeah. Maybe we could go into that neighborhood. I don't know. Is that weird? Are we'll you allowed to, to do that? If it's not gated, I would imagine you could. Hmm. But we'll have to try to, like, on another day, we'll have to try to see if we can get closer. Yeah, do some more exploring. Yeah, because he does love the planes. And it's funny, the noise. I think he likes the noise. Yeah. Oh, we're like Cinderella. <laughs> there's a rabbit in our backyard. Well, there were two. two. The other one's on the other side of the fence. You can still just barely oh, see look it. look at them. Yeah, there they are. <gasps> rabbit friends. They're a little oh. like cottontails. Do you think they're pet rabbits? No. Where are they going? We're going on an adventure. Oh, there's a little. Yeah, little wild rabbits. Oh my goodness, I feel like we're at Disney. Jackson, we're back home. You want to show everybody what you got? Let's see. Show me. Show me what's new. Yeah, let's see. Oh wait, it's not over here. What's this? Whoa, did you build that? Did you get some cardboard blocks? You want to put the yellow one on top of the red one? No? Okay. That's okay. You don't have to. Bye. Ooh, what you making over here? We are going to have beef and cheese taquitos. Mm. And they're like oven fried, which I think just means baked. Right. <laughs> and then I'm going to make some tomatillo salsa. I think that's like my favorite thing that I've learned from this meal delivery thing. That's how to make tomatillo salsa. Yeah, I love it so much. Yeah. And they give you different ways to do it every time. So like this time it's gonna have jalapeno in it. Ooh, Usually spicy. it just has like red onion and like not jalapeno, like red onion and garlic and stuff. But I think this is gonna be like real nice. Yeah. So and Jackson already had his dinner so I can make it as spicy as I want. Oh yeah, that's true. And now he's trying to put on my shoes. Yeah. He's, you're already wearing your shoes, buddy. We just went on a walk so you're still wearing your shoes. And now you're wearing my shoe. Be careful though, don't trip, okay? It always impresses me how he's able to keep my shoe on his foot. All right, whose bedtime is it? This buddy, look at him. Jackson, I know you're so tired. You got your, your stuffed animals, you got your teddy bear and your turtle. Yeah. He's very tired. We had a very fun and long day, huh? Yeah, and then okay. we went for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Everybody says good night. Good night. Good night, buddy. You gonna hold your turtle too? Yeah, we love our turtle. Okay. Oh, you are just the cutest little bud. Okay, good night, my bud. I love you. We already had a million hugs and kisses. Don't worry. I didn't want anybody. I didn't want anybody to think that I missed out on any hugs or kisses. I didn't. No, look at him. He's like, where's mommy? I love you, buddy. Good night. Good night, mommy. Okay, I'm gonna get your dinner ready. So here is dinner. These are oven fried taquitos with our tomatillo salsa sour cream, onion, cilantro. They look really good. They smell really good. The tomatillo salsa tasted really good. So yum. I have to say that is one thing that I always look forward to when we get home from staycation is like cooking, eating home cooked food, like not because the food at Disney is usually pretty good, but it's sometimes can be more fried food than I would like to have. Um, this time like breakfast were kind of greasy and stuff like that. Everything tasted delicious, but I am so excited to eat this dinner. So it's the end of the night. <laughs> uh, much was accomplished. We ate dinner. I didn't I showed that you were making dinner. I forgot to show the actual dinner. I showed them, but we didn't Did talk about the dinner. It, it was really good. Delicious. One of my favorite things from, um, a lot of people ask what we use. We use Marley spoon. I don't know if we're going to keep using it. I think we're going to cancel it actually here pretty soon. Yeah. Cause I feel like I have enough recipes. I save all the cards and I feel like we have enough of the recipe cards that we don't need the service anymore. Right. Cause a lot we can of just them, go out and buy this stuff. Yeah. A lot of them like use similar ingredients. So, um, but one of my favorite things that we would get from, from Marley spoon was this Anytime they do the the um, taquitos, 
Yeah. Which is what we ate. And sometimes they'll do veggie ones and sometimes they'll do chicken ones. Like tonight we had beef ones, but they're, they're always delicious and they always do it with the tomatillo salsa. And it's the best. Yeah, it was so good. So yeah, but we are back home now mm -hmm. and we're gonna go to bed now. <laughs> it's like well, kind of an abrupt thing because tomorrow, mm -hmm. what's happening? Tomorrow we're leaving to go to New Smyrna Beach and we're gonna check out the beach. We're gonna see what New Smyrna Beach has to offer. We usually go just for the day. We'll do day trips and go to like Turtle Mound, which is a, it's a national park, Yeah. but it's on the beach. So it's like a nice kind of more secluded beach. Right. This time I think we're gonna check out some of the like historic monuments. There are like shopping districts, there's restaurants we've never been to. Yeah. So we're just gonna kind of see what there is to do there. Yeah, there is a rainstorm, like a pretty bad rainstorm that's gonna be happening the <laughs> yeah. next couple of days. So we, we might be doing like a, 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 a few things that are like fun rainy day ideas to do in New Smyrna Beach. Right, we didn't, we planned this before the weather was like super severe. So right. we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be interesting to see what we can get up to in the rain, but we are um, definitely, Doing these trips back to back to back like this makes it a little bit more difficult because we only have tonight at home. Right. So we're trying to get the laundry done. We're trying to get repacked. We had to unpack everything for one day and now we're going to repack it for tomorrow. Right. But I also think it'll be very interesting to go from like a Disney trip to like a relaxing beach trip. Yeah. There's nothing more relaxing than hearing the pitter patter of the rain on the water. Oh yeah, so we'll be, I think our hotel is right on the water. I think so. Also, hopefully it clears up enough for us to get in some of the shopping districts because I have a feeling the way that it was described to me is that some of the the streets around New Smyrna Beach are very similar to some of the other towns that we've been exploring recently. Oh, like when we went to Warner Garden and when we went to like Mount Dora. Yeah, so we leave in the morning. So stay tuned to the channel for those videos. So all in all, it was a fun day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.